mass intentions mans mind mass for the souls of rocky fernandez father ronald sequera and francis rajan first death anniversary mass for the souls of antonio pasanna gabriel pereira caetano angelo sequera francis rosario lopez and all intentions in the mass box baptisms on 10th january 2021 of sophia eleanor quadres the parents romeo and natasha in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace and peace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear sisters and brothers in jesus christ let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries I confess to almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore I ask blessed Mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord. We pray that they may see what must be done. and gain strength to do what they have seen through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever A reading from the letter to the Hebrews Since the children share in flesh and blood Jesus himself likewise partook of the same things that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death that is the devil and deliver all those who through fear of death was subject to lifelong slavery for surely it is not angels that he helps but he helps the offspring of abraham therefore he had to be made like his brothers in every respect so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of god to make propitiation for the sins of the people for because
because he himself has suffered when tempted he is able to help those who are being tempted the word of the lord thanks be to god i respond to this Lord remembers his covenant for ever all together the Lord remembers his covenant for ever give thanks to the Lord claim his name make known his deeds among the peoples go oh, sing to him sing his praise tell all his wonderful works our response the lord remembers his covenant Turn to the Lord and His strength. Constantly seek His face. Our response: The Lord remembers His covenant forever. Kindly rise. your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to mark glory to your god at that time jesus left the synagogue and entered the house of simon and andrew with james and john now simon's mother-in-law lay ill with a fever and immediately they told him about her and he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up and the fever left her and she began to serve them that evening at sunset they brought to him all who were sick or oppressed by demons and the whole city was gathered together at the door and he healed many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons and he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him and rising very early in the morning while it was still dark he departed and went out to a desolate place and there he prayed and simon and those who were with him searched for him and they found him and said to him everyone is looking for you and he said to them let us go on to the next towns that i may preach there also for that is what i came for and he went throughout all galilee preaching in their synagogues and casting out demons the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear sisters and brothers in jesus christ they say that an ordinary teacher says or tells us something a good teacher explains something 
a better teacher demonstrates or shows his students what he wants to explain to them whereas the best or a great teacher not only tells or explains or shows but also inspires his students and his audiences and as far as jesus is concerned we can very well place him as one of the great or best teachers because he was someone who inspired not just his apostles but also his listeners and that is revealed to us in the gospel of today in today's gospel we are told of a typical day in the life of jesus and his apostles we are told that jesus who had chosen this 12 apostles four of them accompany him and he first takes them to the synagogue a jewish synagogue in order to give them an exposure to the word of god and prayer and after that he takes them out in order to do some work to do some action because jesus goes to the house of peter's mother in law and he heals her and he not only heals his mother in law but he also heals and cures many other people and then finally we are told that at the end of the day jesus once again ends his day or the next day he gets up early in the morning and prays to his heavenly father and we are told that one of the apostles was so inspired to see him pray that he tells him that everyone is looking for you so the point my dear sisters and brothers in jesus christ is the inspiration that jesus was to the people and his to his apostles and i'm sure jesus as a leader is also an inspiration to each one of us in more ways than one what we need to ask ourselves is as leaders maybe in nuclear groups it could be in our families it could be in our small christian communities it could be in our neighborhood it could be in some other capacity are we really inspiring leaders are we be are we able to follow the footsteps of jesus as we take part in this eucharist let us ask the grace of the eucharistic lord that like jesus we may be great or best teachers by being an inspiration to others Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life blessed be god forever Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you fruit of the wine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink blessed be God forever Pray brother in that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church may your people's oblation o lord find favor with you we pray that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praise is nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the cause of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, we, pro we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Let us pause for a while and pray for all those for whom this Mass has been offered, especially the month's mind masses, first death anniversary masses, and all other intentions. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
Our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of, of God, God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. O oh Lord, I am not worthy to... My roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us make our spiritual communion with the Lord, my Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray humbly we ask you almighty god be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you through christ our lord prayer for relief from the corona virus almighty and merciful god who show your love to all creation everywhere hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the corona virus in various parts of the world we come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak for a healing of those affected for the victims and their families we thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine we pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic we pray that the vaccine be available for all our people even the poor and those in rural areas we pray for doctors nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts we pray for the government and the health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people we make this prayer through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit go forth the mass is ended